Hi, I'm Martha Stewart, and boy do I have a show for you today. I'm going to show you what to do with all of your old sports games, because we know they're useless. Entertainment system, a little wobbly. Just use this here in the Zone 98. That's not going anywhere. So, do you want to take my number? I don't have anything to write with. How about this old sports manual? Awesome. Call me. I will. Hey man, so what do you think about this party so far? I'm having a great time. Try these as coasters. And best of all, at the end of the night, you can just put whatever you want in a gift bag. What is this, octopus? Oh, in the zone 98. Oh God, not in 2010. And you know what? People just take it. There you go, Susie. Hey guys, I'm Zach. And I'm Kevin. And, uh... <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead uh, for an awkward pause. This is one of our... This is a first pickup video, I think, that we've done of using stuff we've actually found while dumpster diving. He, he does, to be fair, he does all the dumpster diving. We've, we had a video, like, four months ago where we actually went to a dump and we went to the swap shop there, but this, we li I literally jumped in dumpsters to get m some of the stuff. So anyway, we're gonna show you the stuff we actually bought first, then we're gonna go on to the other stuff. I wanna say th shout out to my boy Ronnie Hayes and to Dumpster Marcus for getting me back into thinking about doing this stuff, to going back into dumpsters. I mean, there's so much good stuff that gets thrown out. All right, so uh, let's start with the stuff we picked up first. Yeah, things that we actually paid for. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start with, I bought uh, White Knight Chronicles recently at GameStop. Obviously, thankfully, complete. Uh, 6 dollars It's an excellent game. Go out and buy it. It's a great RPG. Story's, story's wonderful. Cutscenes are beautiful. Gameplay is actually really good too. Um, same time I bought this was right around the time that um, GameStop is clearing all of its PS2 stuff. Yeah, it's um, pretty much a wasteland there at this point for PS2. It is. So. It's, it's a graveyard. It pretty much, it's like the... Um, what am I trying to say? It's the graveyard for every single Guitar Hero game ever. Um, <laughs> it's where Guitar Hero games already went to die and now they're just rotting. Yeah, kind of like an old folks home. Um, yeah. I got Ico there for, uh, I want to say around like $7, $7.50. I think it was the other way actually. I think it was like $6.50. Was it? Okay. Well, I mean, either way it was really cheap. It was priced at $30. Um, cashier was really jealous and he's also like, what the fuck? PlayStation 2 game, $30? Yeah, get with the program, buddy. Yeah, okay. And then the other day, there's a, there's a flea market that opened kind of near our place. You know, everything has to be indoors because it's really, really cold outside. Um, especially, you know, this flea market opens at 6 in the morning. So I got there pretty early, right before 7. And, um, you know, the flea markets are kind of shitty over here. And, but anyway, whatever. This one was all right. But I the only stuff I picked up there, I went to one uh, place that had pretty good priced games and they had two NES games I wanted. I got these both for ten bucks so five apiece. Uh, Batman which I've always heard especially from my buddy Summers that this game kicks ass and I've never got a chance to play it and then I got DuckTales which I had when I was a kid and I don't know what the hell happened to it so five bucks a piece I was very happy to pay that. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see actually Zach picked this up for me at a Goodwill. Um, it's Dragon Age the book so, I mean, at some point I'll get around to reading it. How much did you pay for it? It was like a buck. Yeah, a dollar yeah. for Dragon Age The Calling. Um, my favorite pickup of this video, um, Project Cross Zone, or X Zone, I think it's Project Cross Zone, was on sale for 20 bucks. And uh, at GameStop, at least, I think it was also on Amazon. But I had a bu we got a bunch of GameStop points, and so I cashed in 10,000 of them to get a $10 off coupon. So I went there and I picked up a brand new sealed limited edition of Project Cross Zone uh, for the 3DS for 10 bucks, and um, it just looks awesome. I can't wait to play this game. I didn't know you did that. Yep. <laughs> Wheeling and dealing. Oh man. That's the last thing you got. Yep, and then the last thing I paid for is 
probably the last thing that I've really paid, the last game I've pretty much paid MSRP for recently is Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. comes in this case. Um, and this is the booklet. And it's the entire art book. Which is pretty nice. I don't want to open it too wide. Yeah, really, it's pretty sweet packaging. Yeah, I don't want to mess with the binding. Um, but, and then this is where the game goes. The game is not in there because it's currently in my PS4. I've been streaming on Twitch all week, so... Yeah, it's awesome. It, it looks it beautiful. Looks really good. The, it when I was um, when I was streaming one day, some guy comments. He goes, "What's up with her hair? Is she carrying like a you know a bottle of conditioner around with her the whole time? It just looks really good. Um, it really does look ten times better than the PS3 version. Although it is the same game, plays the same. Right. But yeah. And the last thing that I picked up was some weak, uh, some pretty much clearance Wii things at GameStop. Uh, Ocean Commander, these were 99 cents, or 89 cents, and uh, it's complete. I know this didn't get the best rating, but it looks like a shooter, and um, I mean, even if it's shitty, I mean, you know, 89 cents, you can just use the Wii case, really. Uh, and then the, the last game I got there was SSX Blur. So I'm very big into the Wii right now, collecting, playing, um, and... This one's also complete. Um, so, yeah, both of them are 89 cents. That's pretty sweet. So, okay. So now, I got the bug. I got that dumpster diving bug. So, like I said, Ronnie Hayes and Dumpster Marcus really got me back into this. Like, I've been watching their videos and, you know, talking with them. And dumpster diving is the shit. So, we'll start off. One of the things I found, and this wasn't even in the dumpster. They didn't even have the decency to put this in the dumpster. This was a backing for an Xbox 360 controller. And it was just, um, it was just, uh, on the side of the dumpster, so I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> um, I found some, here's a Deadpool uh, artwork. I also found, the, the manual's like one page or two pages, but, so I found that. I, I mean, I'm always, I love picking up uh, cases artworks, you know, people always need them or you need them or whatever. And here's Ooh, Just this Dance. this is uh, Travis's favorite game, remember? Oh yeah, Travis, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then here's First uh, color reviews, loves Just Dance. Here's uh, Just Dance 2014. Um, uh, there was an old, I'm guessing this is an old Game Informer, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, or it's a new one, I don't know. No, that's the same one December in 2013. Yeah, okay, it's an old one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, I found those. What did you get from there? Kyla got one of the coolest things. Zach, I am lucky enough to have such a cool dude dumpster dive and still give me some of the coolest stuff. Um, it comes in this sleeve, which kind of reminds me of a debit card sleeve. And it's this picture, and it's a nice board. Um, there's small water damage right here, but I mean, it's really not that noticeable. Yeah, it looks awesome. That came with the special edition, I think, strategy guide, and they just threw it out, so Fucking it looks idiots. really nice. Um, the GameStop that one of we went to was <laughs> right next to a GNC, and one of the things they threw out was this band. This is like one of those um, workout bands. Uh, there was like four of these, but this was the only one that actually had the end, so I just left the other ones. I probably should have taken them. And there was, oh my god, there was so many things of protein, like those big tubs. There was probably 10 of them in there, but, you know, I don't really know if I am if I wanted to take that stuff, because I don't think any of it was sealed. Um, mm -hmm. And then I found a bunch of cases, so minute to win it with this dipshit guy on the cover. Yeah, I forget his name, but he sucks. And, like, even if you don't want these artworks, like, and besides giving them to someone else, I mean, these are good cases. This is, um... This is a uh, a DS case. Oh, never mind. This one doesn't have the Game Boy Advance uh, slot up here. But still, I mean, yeah, it's a case. Let's see. There's this game. Omerta. Omerta or whatever. Uh, this is this is has the manual. Um, Mafia Two. I only took this because it's a this is a, an actual 360 case. Um, blank 360 case. This went to NBA 2K6. 199. 199. Which Final Fantasy XIII 2, which this has the manual and uh, stickers on it and stuff. Um, iPad, this is a, I, I pretty much just took this for the PS3 case. Oh, you know, I could use that for my Ken Murray de Macy one. Okay. It's broken, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, it is broken. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, this also has the manual and stuff. And it has codes. I mean, if anybody wants this stuff, like the codes or anything, just send me a message and I'll just email them to you. And the coolest one I actually found was Call of Duty Ghosts because it actually has the first disc in here. Um, and I know the second disc is the install disc, so I think you have to use the second disc first to install the thing onto your system. Then you put this disc, this, this disc in and you can play it. But I think you can, you, you can actually just play multiplayer with only having this disc. So 
that's pretty cool to find. And either way, this is a double uh, disc. Disc, yeah, uh, case. And I, I have a copy of Gears of War, the first one that came with two discs, and I don't have the case for it anymore. So I mean, I have the artwork and stuff, but so I can just replace it with this. Um, and oh, you yeah. have anything else? No, that's all. Good. I, I want to save this. This is the best one for last. Um, you will not believe what we found in there, dude. We don't know if it works yet. But I can't wait. So, just kidding. It's just a box. Yeah. <laughs> just a um, box. Um, I actually plan on buying one, this exact model. But I don't know. He found the box, and I was like, "Yay!" Give yeah. It to me. I mean, in my opinion, the most if you if you if you just grab it while you're there, and if you want to throw it out, whatever, throw it out later. Yeah. So yeah, those are pickups, and I'm I, I love I'm I got the bug now. I got the bug, and I I go dumpster diving, and I I won't lie, I just do it in. Plain sight. I just drive over there at four in the morning, or I mean four in the afternoon. I just pull up. I take a look through, throw and leave. I don't really care. Um, yeah, maybe I should. I used to dumpster dive all the time uh, a couple years ago. I used to go like every night. But anyway, those are pickups. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll definitely be seeing more uh, dumpster diving stuff. Uh, <laughs> so thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Find us on Facebook. Find. Uh, Kyla's streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Please, I love, I love chatting with everyone. So just talk to me about what games you like to play and what game I'm playing yeah. right now. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah, so. and also uh, find us on Iga Gameplay every Saturday, mm -hmm. Retro on Limb, and cool. Yep, and as always, stay nerdy. Getting your nerd on, getting your nerd on, getting your nerd on.